However, your committee will continue to investigate and hopes to present a definite recommendation at next month's meeting of the Civic Association. Thank you, Mr. Hanson. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Willis. I want to talk about, uh, I think we need a playground here on the west side. Uh, we need it because, uh, because we need a place for our boys and girls to play. A playground... Mr. Willis has an important idea to express, but he lacks the vocabulary to express it. Finding the exact words to fit your ideas is one of the first steps in building your vocabulary. People can be interested in new ideas when those ideas are expressed in well-selected words. This use of exact words to communicate your ideas applies to written words as much as to spoken words. Hi, Dad. Would you be interested in... Oh, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Something go wrong at the meeting? Yes. I sort of made a... What's on your mind, son? I thought you might like to read my term paper before I hand it in tomorrow. Well, yes, of course. Our public parks, monuments, or playgrounds. Huh? Much of the juvenile delinquency in our community can be traced to our lack of public playgrounds and our lack of a planned recreational program. We are not without our public parks, but they are landscape monuments rather than playgrounds planned for the direction of youthful energy into character building channels. Why, Pete, you express your ideas very well. But uh, this isn't the way you talk, is it? Well, that depends. But you see, this is a term paper and, well, as I understand it, when you're talking or writing, you use words that fit the occasion. But here, the words you use, they sound good and uh, they seem to be the right words to say what you mean. Well, that's, I, well, that's what I... Where'd you learn all those words? Well, you see, I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's a good way to learn new words to increase your vocabulary, so you can express your ideas better. Whenever I come across a new word, reading or listening to someone, I write it down. Later, I put it in this notebook. Let's see. I write down the pronunciation and the definitions of each word, and then some synonyms. But then, of course, I try using the word. Using the word correctly a few times is what really fixes it in your vocabulary. And a good working vocabulary helps you to be more explicit. Well, you certainly surprise me with your vocabulary. Yes, indeed. Be more explicit. So Mr. Willis began a vocabulary notebook in a business-like way. First, he considered the context in which the word was used. Now, where did I hear that? From Mary. She was talking about redecorating this room. Dear, I think we ought to put a valance over the window. It would make it more dramatic. Don't you think a valance would be effective? Hmm. Valance must be some kind of decoration. But do I have to bother with all these special words? Maybe I'd better. I certainly want to have a say in how the house is decorated. Ah, valance, short curtain, as the valance over the top of a window. Hmm, the valance would look good up there. Maybe this will help me understand what Mary's talking about. Valance had only a single meaning. Other words, like vacillate, have many meanings. The only way to tell which meaning is intended is from the context in which it is used. Synonyms fluctuate, waver, oscillate, under... Wait a minute. Too many words mean nearly the same thing, but still they're different. Nobody can learn all those words. I'm going to bed. 
But next morning, Mr. Willis found he couldn't escape unfamiliar words when his wife called. Oh, John. Yes, dear. Will you stop at the library and get me that anthology of plays? All right, dear. Anthology. Why does everybody in this family use these fancy words? In the morning newspaper, he found words that looked familiar enough, yet when he studied them, their meanings weren't explicit. Even in his work, he began to be aware that he used words that he could not define precisely. That it is not feasible to allocate necessary production facilities. Feasible. Allocate. Excuse me, Mr. Willis. There's a gentleman here from the ABC Printing Company. He wants to discuss their new electrotyping process with variable type fonts. Um, I'll tell him you're busy to come back later. Anthology. Feasible. Alphamator. Electrotyping. Allocate. Anthology. Feasible. Alphamator. Electrotyping. Allocate. Feasible. Alphamator. Electrotyping. Feasible. Alphamator. Electrotyping. Feasible. Alphamator. Electrotyping. Feasible. Alphamator. Explicit. You know, Dad, explicit. A good working vocabulary helps you to be more explicit. Well, I guess I need this. Anthology. An anthology of modern plays. This is the book Mary wanted. Oh, -ho. so that's what an anthology is. A collection. Now, what else came of my trip to the library? Each of us has certain interests which we need to share with others. If we know the special vocabulary, we will understand what people are talking about, and other people will understand us. This book will help Mr. Willis have a say in the decoration of his home. This book, on the fundamentals of printing, will help him in the conduct of his business. Books on special interest subjects Help us build the vocabulary we need to talk the language of others. And that's not the only language I'm going to talk. At the next meeting of the Civic Association, I'm going to sell my idea or my name isn't Willis. The chair recognizes Mr. Willis. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, for many years now, our city council has wavered between a policy of no parks and beautiful but useless parks. The time has come to present the council with an ultimatum. An ultimatum demanding for the west side... Yes, people can be interested in new ideas when those ideas are expressed clearly and effectively. Increased knowledge of words has enabled Mr. Willis to think through his ideas more logically and to present them more effectively to an appreciative audience. We will show them that it is feasible that the city budget is nothing more or less than a plan for spending our money. A plan which can and must be adapted to meet our needs. Words that we choose carefully to say what we mean choose for the audience and the occasion, help us gain support for our ideas. And not only in speaking. Effective use of words helps us think and write more forcefully and with more interest when we prepare term papers and other school assignments. Command of words helps us contribute to debates and discussions. We communicate more quickly and more effectively. Being skilled in the use of words aids us in selling ourselves when we look for jobs. Whenever we're around people, a good vocabulary helps us say what we mean and understand what others mean. Pete has developed his skill in communication through words, just as Mr. Willis has, just as you can, by being alert to words, by using words that say exactly what you mean, by building your vocabulary. To see that program carried out, then we can achieve our goal by going before the council and making our demands explicit.